Well, some low-income families recently learned they will not receive toys from the Salvation Army this holiday because they missed the deadline to apply. Ten on your side, Stephanie Harris headed out this morning to see if she could find them some help. Steph. Well, Tom, what I found really is no surprise here. People in Hampton Roads have huge hearts, and several groups were already mobilizing to make the holidays happen for these kids. This is how Christmas morning should look. But 300 kids in Hampton Roads could have nothing to unwrap this year due to a big snafu. I mean, it is heartbreaking. Of course, we don't like turning people away ever. The Salvation Army will soon give away toys for 20,000 children, but some Head Start students won't be among them. Every year, the preschool program for low-income families sends applications home to parents. But this year, the program came under new management and missed the October deadline. We set our deadline when we do because we need time to process the paperwork, also because of this year volume of applications we get. But the Salvation Army isn't the only group that can play Santa. We are going to jump into this with both feet. The Meridian Group and other businesses are now organizing what the Head Start director calls a Christmas coalition. That a lot of people that are calling in are saying that our friends are saying, what do you need, cash, do you need presents? And we just said, we need something for these kids to open on Christmas morning. And you can help too. The website independentwestand.org will soon post a list of toy drop-off locations and suggestions based on what the kids really want. So come Christmas morning, there'll be more of this in more Hampton Roads homes. Gotta love that. We'll put a link to that website on wavy.com. Also, Lakeman Construction in Chesapeake set up a bank account to collect money for gifts. You can contribute to the Christmas is for Kids account at any SunTrust branch. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.